Hi everyone, today I'm here to bring you a 20 minute full body Pilates abdominal workout. Today you won't need any equipment except for your mat. As far as the workout goes, we'll be doing 20 different exercises. Each exercise will be done for about 50 seconds with a 10 second transition in between. As always during this workout, take modifications as necessary. Make sure you listen to your body and make this workout your own. This is a great add-on workout or one when you're short on time just to get a good abdominal burn. When you're ready, let's get started. All right guys, so when you're ready, we're gonna start laying all the way down on our back. We're gonna start with a very simple chest lift. So feet sit bone distance apart, hands behind the head, elbows nice and wide. Take a big breath, inhale here, and then when you're ready, exhale, curl the head, neck, and chest up, sliding the front ribs down to the hips, and then lower the head, neck, and chest down. Again, we're here for about 50 seconds. We'll take a little transition time and then go right into our next exercise. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. That's it, nice deep breaths. Working on how high you can lift your upper body into that forward flexion. Twenty seconds to come. That's it. We get a break in five, four, three, two, and one. Ten seconds rest, and then we're just going to hold that head, neck, and chest up, and pulse our head, neck, and chest up to the sky. When you're ready, lift up, and we're going to pulse in three, two, and one. Little tiny pulse, chin lifted away from the chest, elbows reaching nice and wide. Little exhale, drawing the navel into the spine. That's it. We are more than halfway there. 20 seconds left. Get a break in 10 seconds. We're going to take that 10 second break and then just go into some um, oblique exercises. In three, two, and one. Lower the head, neck, and chest down. Bring your left knee into a tabletop position. We're going to curl up and over in four, three, two, and one. Up and over and center. Sliding your right ribs. Up and over and down to the left hip. Pelvis stays nice and stable here. Elbows still stay nice and wide. That's it, you're more than halfway there. We've got just 20 seconds to come. Take a break in five, four, three, two, and one. Come back center, lower both feet down. Take a moment just to reset. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right knee comes up into that tabletop position. Chin, uh, shin is parallel to the floor, and we rotate. Pelvis stable. Your foot that's on the floor is anchored firmly down. That's it, again, now the left ribs are sliding up and over to the right hip. Good, just about 10 seconds left, guys. Last three, two, and last time. 
lower the head down, lower the arms down by the sides. We're going to start with our knees and tabletop here and do a little tailbone rock up off of the mat. It's a very small move. Here we go, arms pressing down, roll the tailbone off and roll the tailbone down. Trying to use those lower abdominal fibers to rock the hips up off of the mat. Notice that my thigh bones and my shins are at about a 90 degree angle. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower.
three, two, and one. Come on up to the forearm, guys. One forearm down, over on the knees. We're gonna lift our hips in three, two, one. Lift those hips and then just pulse them up to the sky. Now both knees can be down. One leg can be extended or both legs can be extended. You choose, remember we're here for that 50 second time period. Beautiful. That's it. You're already halfway there. And speaking of halfway, you are also halfway through this session. Good, feeling the burn in that core. Good, last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the hips down, we're gonna stay on this side, bottom knee bent, top arm to the sky. We're gonna pull our knee to our elbow in three, two, and one. Bottom hip is lifted, pull, stretch, pull, stretch. Keeping the hips elevated. Good, really reach that arm long. Good, 20 seconds left. Hips a little higher for the last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it over, those two exercises on the other side. We start with those knees down, little hip lifts, option to flip the knees up. Here we go, press the forearm down, lift the hips, stack the hips, choose your leg option here, and pulse those hips up. That's it. Full forearm is pressing down all the way from the elbow to the wrist. You're doing great. Keep exhaling. Just 10 seconds. Good, five, four, Three, two, and one. Lower those hips down. Good, bottom knee stays down, top leg extends. We're gonna pull the elbow to the hip. Arrange your body, lift the hips up. Arm reaches, here we go, pull. Good, big stretch of the top line of the waist. Good, halfway there. About 10 seconds to come. In four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Coming onto our forearms for a forearm plank. Elbows under shoulders, knees down or knees lifted. Here we go. Good, elbows under shoulders, nice long spine, chin is lifted. Option for knees to be down on the ground. If your knees are lifted, drop those heels back to the back edge of your mat. Hips are parallel to the floor. That's it, 10 seconds to come. Five, four, three, 
two, and one, knees down. Sit back to your heels for a moment. We're gonna come back into that forearm plank and rock our hips side to side. Knees down or toes down in three, two, and one. Set yourself up. Knees down, rocking the hips side to side. Or toes down, rocking the hips side to side. Good work for that big range of motion here. Last 10 seconds. We're gonna flip it over onto our seat in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, flip it over, hands back behind you. Feet in front of you, we're gonna lift those hips up high and pulse them in three, two, and one, hips lift. Little tiny pulses up with those hips. Push the heels actively to the floor. Nice open collarbones. Working the back body, which is still part of the core, right? We've gotta work all sides of that cylinder. Beautiful job, keep going. Little squeezes of the touch. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the hips down. From here, we're gonna lift the hips, lift one knee, lower the hips, and then lift the hips, lift the other knee. We're here in three, two, and one. Lift, tap, lift, tap. Just marching, propelling those hips upward. That's it, really elevate. Twenty seconds left here. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one, very nice job, lower all the way onto your back. Heels in line with the glutes, lifting those hips high, little pulses to the ceiling. Lift, 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 maybe arms to the sky. Squeeze that tush. Equal weight through the pinky toe and the big toe side of the foot. Less than 20 seconds. That's it in five, four, three, two, 
and one. Good, final exercise. We're gonna swim for those last 50 seconds. Arms long, legs long, alternating opposite arm, opposite leg. In three, two, and one. Swim. That's it. Shoulder blades sliding down the back. Working from your center. Glutes fired, shoulders fired. Nice long arms and legs. Keep it going guys, maybe the feet lift a little higher off the floor. Last 20 seconds here. That's it, keep it up. Last 10, nine, That's it, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands under shoulders, hips back towards the heels. Take that child's pose. Maybe shift the hips a little right and left. Nice, coming up to hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's just do a few cat cows to loosen that spine. One more time. Very nice job. Have a seat. And you guys are all done. I hope you liked that quick 20 minute core workout. Leave me a comment or question down below. As always, make sure you subscribe and share, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.